Hi, this is Katie with Ask Slim. On your screen is the Cycle Low Timing Tracker, which is the tool that we've developed to help us identify opportunities that might be setting up coming into cycle lows, as well as coming out of them in both the intermediate and short-term timeframes. Now in cycle analysis, the principle of synchronicity refers in one way to important lows occurring together. So when we get an intermediate term low forming and moving up into the rising phase of the next cycle, that same thing is occurring on the shorter time frame. Because of the energy of these multiple cycles pushing up together into their new rising phases, there's the opportunity for some lucrative moves. So if you look closely at the cycle low timing tracker, you'll notice that an entire sector is showing up on here, and that is the semiconductors. We have applied materials, AMD, Broadcom, Micron, NVIDIA, and the semiconductor ETF, the SMH, all showing up in various boxes on here as they go through the bottoming process on their respective charts. Let's take a look at the semiconductor ETF, the SMH. This is a five-year weekly chart of SMH, and here you can see we are three weeks off the cycle low and moving up nicely. We still do have negative momentum as indicated by our proprietary reversal scout, and we do wanna see that turn positive, but it is starting to curl up. Now, this prior cycle was negatively configured with a left-hand translation, meaning that the cycle peak occurred over here at the beginning of the cycle and then spent the whole cycle declining, ending up much lower than where it began. Therefore, the probabilities favor not being able to take out that prior cycle high, and for that reason, we are projecting only up to the top of this resistance zone at about $250. Over here on the daily chart, notice what is happening. In this current cycle, we've gotten up through this resistance zone and approaching the 78.6% fit. Momentum is positive with both the reversal scout as well as the slim ribbon. Now the shape of this cycle is suggesting to us that it will form a basing cycle, which is when we get a positively configured cycle that ends higher than where it began after one or more negatively configured cycles. This tells us that the energies in the market are changing and becoming more positive. So what we're projecting is for SMH to get maybe up as high as this 78.6% FIB in the current cycle that comes in at about 36 and a half. And then as we retrace into this daily cycle timing window, when we expect the current cycle to make its low, uh, we'd like to see this support zone hold. This is currently from about 214 down to about 205, but the zone is rising as SMH continues to make higher highs in this cycle. So if SMH can do this, we would consider that support zone as a good long side opportunity setting up in SMH. And the analysis is similar in many of the semiconductor stocks, so this is a sector to keep your eye on. To learn more about cycle analysis and our tools and services, please come visit us at AskSlim.com. Super work, Katie. You really get a sense for how valuable that uh, cycle low tracker is looking at that. Katie knows this stuff as well as anybody, and she is a great teacher. So give Casey, uh, Katie kudos on that uh, for sure. Just absolutely great work, and she is terrific. She's going to be bringing a lot now about combining uh, our analysis with option trading, uh, and she's beginning to do that in our Discord channel and uh, creating some videos on that. So uh, Katie, uh, just a super, super cycle analyst and a great teacher. Thanks for that.